السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Today إن شاء الله I'm going to explain how to estimate the train brightness index as one of the important topographic features. The topographic brightness index (TRI) was developed by Riley et al. 1999 to express the amount of elevation difference between adjacent cells of a digital elevation grid. Or in other words, we can say to quantify the topographic heterogeneity. And how to estimate it? Actually, if we have like a domain three, like domain digital elevation model, this is value in this domain is like elevation values. And it will be, it is actually the same as example that I, I will explain today. So if we have a domain three by three, the estimation of TRI we have to first estimate the difference between the center pixel and the surrounding uh, pixels, eight pixels. Then we can estimate the submission. And after estimate the submission, um, we will estimate the square for each one, then um, square root uh, for the, the all uh, values. So first step, like, what is the difference between this value 74 minus 78, which means eight. Then we have to multiply by uh, eight, uh, sorry, four. So the difference is four, so four by four. So it means 16. Then plus the square of the difference here between this one and this one, and also the same. Based on this equation, we can say TRI equal square root summation of ZC, which means the center uh, elevation of the pixel in the middle, minus ZI, I means from one to eight surrounding uh, pixels. And then we have to uh, estimate the square for all, just to, to avoid any um, uh, negative values. Then we will estimate the square root for this elevation. Actually, this is uh, estimation for this pixel for TRI manually based on this value. It is exactly the same as the digital elevation model that I will use in the example. So I estimated this value. So let's say now we need to know check to check how can we do it by uh, ArcGIS. So next. In order to estimate the TRI by ArcGIS, we have to download the Arc Hydro tool. Of course, for Arc Map, uh, ArcGIS desktop or uh, ArcGIS Pro. So based on the, the version that we have, we can download the tools. We have different tools. And also we have to um, make sure that we should uninstall any previous version. So let's say how can we uh, download and uh, run the the um, this uh, calculation. So first we have to open the website, the original website like this. Mm, yes. So this is uh, the link that I provided. If you look at here, we can see the different version for ArcGIS desktop and then for Pro. So we can, you can select anyone here or even Pro. For example, if you go to Pro, you can select the last version or based on the version that you have. And you'll find this ArcGIS, Arc Hydro tools for ArcGIS Pro.msi. Then you will install this uh, uh, tool that you will uh, download it. And after you install, you will find it in the toolbox, of course. So for instance, if you go to the system toolbox, you'll find it uh, under this one, the Arc Hydro tool Python. And uh, then under the train pre-processing, you'll find that by the end, train Ragnus index here. So if you click the tool, then you can use the digital elevation model. We can use example, and then you can estimate the TRI because I have already estimated. So you can just an example and run. So 
So the estimated value for this square, we can just check how much the value of TRI based on the, uh, my previous estimation manually. So if we click here, we will find the pixel value 4.8989, exactly the same that uh, as uh, as a value that I already estimated manually from this uh, original uh, digital elevation model. So that's all for today and thank you very much.